How's it going, man bun? What is going on guys? My name is Esty and welcome back to another episode of the Add Up series. Today I am bringing you Jeff Johansson. There he is right there in his nice Chinese New Year themed outfit. Uh, Jeff was released in tandem with Legion during the Darkness Among Us DLC back in December of 2018. And uh, his perks are pretty cool. There's one in particular that we're going to talk about that uh, is pretty game changing if you can use it in the right sense. We start, however, with his first perk distortion it says you start the trial with three tokens when your aura would be shown to the killer distortion activates and a token is consumed for the next 10 seconds while distortion is active you do not leave scratch marks and your aura will not be shown to the killer distortion does not activate when you are in dying state or in a trap so yeah if you, if you start the game with three tokens each time the killer is going to see you be it through bitter murmur or be it if it's a silent mic or any time that they would see you in your aura uh, that will use a token and it will not show the killer anything and also for the next 10 seconds you don't leave scratch marks which is pretty pretty huge and obviously this is at top tier um, I don't know what it is gonna be at my tier that I have it at but it's still a pretty good freaking perk next one is called aftercare this one it is an aura reading ability perk it says you see the aura of every survivor that you rescue from a hook or rescues you from a hook you complete a healing action on or completes a healing action on you and they also see your aura and at max tier this occurs for up to three survivors all effects of aftercare are reset when you are hooked by the killer yeah, if you rescue someone from a hook or they rescue you or if you heal somebody or somebody heals you you become basically bonded with them and you can constantly see their R. and you can do this with up to three different survivors uh but it actually is reset once you get hooked by the killer so and finally breakdown it says anytime you are removed from a hook escaped or saved the hook breaks and the killer's aura is shown to you for six seconds a hook broken by this perk takes 180 seconds to respawn. For you math whizzes, that's three whole minutes. So yeah, if they rescue you from the hook, or if you pull yourself off the hook by some chance, or if you're using deliverance with him, that hook will break, and you will get to see the killer for six seconds, no matter where he is. And that hook won't respawn for three whole minutes, dude. That is game changing. This is the one I was talking about. If you can, if it, if it helps you, it's gonna help you in the fact that you can just stay on that side of the map, and then the killer probably will not have a hook to take you to. All right, those are Jeff's perks. We're now back in the normal survivor mode and we're gonna go in and see if we can escape with them. That Nia looks like Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah, man, if you're watching this far in the video, you gonna like it, may as well press the like button. Helps me out a lot. Lets me know that people are enjoying my content. Uh, leave me a comment. Dude, I've been getting so many good comments. I, I absolutely appreciate it. All the support that I've been getting, even the view. If you're just watching and enjoying my content, that's enough for me. Okay, gas heaven. Look like we're getting disconnected. We're trying number one, are we, David? Huh? I guess not. Maybe a potato internet killer? Who knows? David, you wasted your dead heart. Not a good start for either of us. I'm even going to touch the gen. But yeah, like I was saying before, uh, that distortion perk is actually a very good perk for barbecue and chili counter because you can once he hooks him we're gonna see if that token goes away that means he has barbecue and chili because he would have seen my aura but the perk blocked so let's see okay no token went away so i don't think he has it does he have it maybe he does oh he actually hit me too fuck off killer lunge sometimes is just so stupid yeah he wants my booty he wants this booty I have to just break it sir David? Oh boy. I don't know. I don't. It should work with barbecue and chili. So either he has it or he has another perk that like allowed him to detect that the generator was almost done. I honestly don't know. Hey, hey, buddy. Heal me right now. Help, 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 help. Do something. Quickly. Heal me. Heal me. You fucking bitches. Are you serious? How? Oh! 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 oh. oh fuck off, dude! Why didn't they heal me, man? You go away, please. Why? Why? Sleep. Fuck off. Yes. Come on. Thank you. Wait a minute. 
Why could I see him? Okay, don't run him to me! Adam, you stupid dick. Adam! God! Oh god, he did a tumble. He can't take him to that hook. How did he know he was there? Oh. Dude, I hate this game. Why is he turning so fast? I don't like that. Dude, he's able to turn so unbelievably fast. Oh, he missed. Yes. May have just saved David's life. Definitely saved David's life. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay, well. Game, can you not give me a skill check when I'm trying to get off the gen, please? Did they break that hook? I think they did. And my hook still isn't back. He might get off. Yes, David. No. Wiggle. No. <laughs> they broke the hook, but it wasn't enough. Oh, yeah, bitch. Hello. Hello, sir. Did he? No way. No way. God, dude, no. No, we're gonna die. This this game is not gonna turn out good. Oh, a token got used. Maybe he does have barbecue. No. Oh, boy. He definitely saw that. Holy jeebus. All right, I have to do this. There's nothing I can do for her. He is turning so fast, man. That is not normal. He has add-ons, for sure. He is turning way too fast for that to be normal. Just running him around. Oh, my. Oh, no. Don't have a detection perk for generators. Does he? He must. There's no way he doesn't, dude. Oh, he's out. He's out. He actually... Dude, what is that? How, I want to know how he's coming over to Jens like that. He has to have Tinkerer. There's no, there's literally no other way for him to know. She got up. Oh, well, this is going to be tough. This is going to be a shit show. I'm not understanding what distortion does then because I don't know when it used a token, but it did. Sometime. I have no idea when. I'm mostly curious about what his perks are. I'm not getting out yet. He's dead. Find the hatch. If I don't get the hatch, dude, I'm not getting out. Later. He fucking knew where it was. Moments later. Fuck you. More moments later. Oh my God, wait. Uh, Azeron's resting place isn't dust. Oh no, we were in gas heaven, I think. So this is different. It's the same realm, different map. Try number two. You ready? Do I have this thing at the beginning of each game? I just have such a bad feeling right now. Everything is so quiet. We just have so much anxiety right now. I don't like that nobody got hit yet. Hello, Claudette. You scared the shit out of me. I feel a little better now that I have a buddy. Hello. Hello. I just had such an anxiety build up there. <laughs> There's no sound. No indication as to what the killer could be. No tokens have been consumed, so the killer hasn't been able to... Tr like, he's not trying to see me. I'm gonna get jump scared, dude. I can feel it. Is it a Bubba? And he's just insidious in the dungeon right now? I'm not like this, dude. Please. Is it Bubba in the dungeon? If I go down there right now, is it going to be bubble? Damn it, dude. Not like this. I hate this. I hate getting the freaking achievement like this. Dude. It just feels so cheap. I want to play the game. I want to actually try to have a good game. It's either a Wraith still cloaked somewhere, just not playing, or it's a Bubba in the base. There's nothing down here. Man, are you serious? Son of a bitch, man. Are we ever gonna find out what the killer is? There's a wraith. What'd I tell you? Okay, well, I mean, that really sucks, but it's, it's kind of out of my control at this point. There's nothing really I can do to change that or prevent. I mean, there's, there's absolutely nothing. I, you know, if the killer doesn't want to play, then the killer doesn't want to play and he won't play. And then we'll just get to escape for free and ruin my content so that's fun there's the achievement tainted as it is that's gonna do it for jeff you know there's nothing i can do i'm not gonna torch myself and go back in try to fix something that isn't even my fault i think only if it's the first the very first game that that happens will i go back and try to record more like app app was the very first game that i played with. and i was like i'm not accepting there's no way i'm accepting getting out like that so easily on the first go but at least we got a good game against the oni I would have preferred to try to play against that Wraith because he had barbecue and I would have been able to see if uh, that the distortion perk works against barbecue. But I guess we don't get to see that. We don't get to have fun. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like on it. Also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a single episode like it. Now we're getting close to the end now. The Adam series is coming to a close. So I'm going to try to elongate it. Not elongate it, but I'm going to try to spread them out uh, so that by the time I get my new PC, hopefully I'll be able to move on to recording other things and it won't really matter. The Adam series will be finished and uh, at least for the survivors. And then we, we got killers next. Don't worry, we're not out of content just yet. We got the killers to do after. Yeah, I've been SD. 
Uh, I'm a little bit upset and salty, but that's okay. I'll see you in the next one.